Hello everybody and welcome to once again to my humble abode. This time I'd like to continue with the uh, quarry in the nether. So the first thing I need to do is to make a bit of space because we've run up one of the nether chests is just about full. So what I did, I shall show you, is to build a diamond chest and put it where the, the full chest was. It's this chest here. Nice and empty and this chest here is just about full so what I shall do now is I'll take this chest put it upstairs when I got this in my hand you'll notice I'm getting these um, I think is it tired oh mining fatigue and slowness what if I do this if I change it over in the hot bar so I'm using the other one that disappears this is also I suspect it's a sort of a bug but I also need if I haven't already got it some coal and some stone let's just get another stack of stone and let's go upstairs and here I have a, an input into the ender chest to resort things let's see if this let's change it back over here so I go back to slowness put the chest in here and as soon as I do that everything will be pulled out of here and go back downstairs and be sorted again it doesn't take too long but it does mean that uh, I don't have to move everything manually across. So in the meantime, let's put this up. Put this back up here. What have I got with me? Let's just change that over. Put these. Put this up there as well. So what have we got? Everything is full, fully charged. My suit's charged up again. So I'm ready to go. Let's go and hit the road. Oh no, one more thing. I wanted to make another tra travel anchor. And I know I need for that at least one en ender pearl. Just take one ender pearl. And the reason I need another, maybe need another travel anchor is the other one's just a little bit out of range from the original one. So the recipe is fairly straightforward if I remember rightly. Is this recipe? So it's one pulsating crystal, which is one diamond surrounded by pulsating iron nuggets. Pulsating iron nuggets is made out of this pulsating arrow, one ender pearl, and one iron ingot. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward, but I do need one diamond, and I've already got ender on six and I think I need eight. I'll take this anyway and we wanted one iron ingot and one redstone. And I need another end of pearl I think maybe it's just that one I need. Smelt out so we need to put in did I pick up the redstone? Yes. So we want one of those up there and one and nugget up there. I picked up stacks, that wasn't what I had intended to do at all. Let's do it like this. Let's take a few of these. Now let's check this again. Oh no, nugget. Oh, wrong machine. I do, excuse me. I think it was the wrong It was the wrong mixture anyway, wasn't it? It wasn't it? an ender pearl. And an iron nugget. That brings us a uh, pulsating iron ingot. So, what we then do is to split that into nuggets and then we put that, surround that by one diamond. So, and then we have this pulsating crystal. Let's put those back we want to take those with us and what's the next part of the recipe these are surrounded by these conduit bindings and iron ingots iron ingots no problem conduit bindings are made from actually quite straightforward just gravel two sand and one clay and then you get eight bindings and then you can cook those and you get these i've actually I've just got four left which is just enough for one more and one well, in the middle and then we just wanted iron ingots around the sides didn't we 
have one more travel link. Let's put, actually, let's put those in this chest over here. I don't really think I need any redstone. So, I think that's everything I need now, so let's go again. Another portal. <coughs> Now, quarry is over here this time. Ah, oh, there's. I can just reach it. That's fine. So, what I'm going to do is I want to get the turtle working. And the idea is that we need it to be about this level here, I think. So let's put the turtle down here. One turtle. And let's fill it with. We need stone in here. We need to put coal in here. And what I'm going to say is tunnel 64. And there it goes. And it'll just go down and nicely dig a, a tunnel. What I need to do in the meantime is to make sure that that's not going to get blown up. And the way I'm going to do that is by firing down through here with the mining laser long range mode, just stand back a bit. The mining laser of course doesn't right here we go. Aye. That's what we want to make sure of. Nice big explosions. That's pretty good. Next one. These hellfish are a bit of a pain. They're quite. Uh, they can If you use the, the mining laser on a low power, it just irritates them. Here's the sulfur here. And this is what tends to explode when it gets caught by the mi uh, mining. So, best way to do this is hit. And then it doesn't explode. Now I've got some dancing at the rack. Is that because I'm full? No. Nope. Because I'm slightly out of rage. I think, I think quartz might explode. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go back over here and start to drill some more. It does use quite a lot of the power. Let's go down here. And the idea is what I've tried to do here is to make sure that the turtle doesn't get blown up. Next one. Once I've got a sensible sized um, uh, channel, what's that there? Is that Peridot or was that Emerald or are you anymore? Good, good lords in the nether, I must be honest.
So that's the first row done. Let's go. I think that the the turtle will now be finished. There's another fish over there. They they come out a lot when you're doing mining. It's a bit of a pain. What we have to also watch out for. Okay, good. And of course, he uh, picked up the. <laughs> hmm. What's supposed to do? Never mind. I need to build some more up here. Let's put some another right down here. Is that too much? No, it's not. For some reason, I've turned the video around. We also need to put in a torch if I haven't got one. I should be able to put that somewhere else, like there. Hmm. Doesn't quite line up, that's interesting. Okay. Now we pick up the turtle. He's also got he's got quite a lot of netherite coal. Oh, he picked up the torch. And the way to pick up this guy is with a pickaxe. start on the next row here. In fact, I was a bit surprised about that. Let's just start him here. He's a little bit low down. Okay, he'll do, he'll do a three by two high, so three across will be filling this gap here. And two, sh I think it goes, hopefully it went up, but it seemed to go down. So let's put some coal in there and some, uh, let's put some stone in there and some coal. Let's type again tunnel 64. Let's do less like the uh, 64. 64. It's probably having to put work with a capital L. Pressing tab. I guess that's better. That's where I want him to do it. To work. He must have put him down too low last time. And every time he goes underneath, uh, something is underneath, he puts down some stones. So that's really good for us as well. So, carry on with our little bit of mining here. Let's take it. As you can see, there is no shortage of nether rack in the nether. Big spider. My which will then split into about four to five different smaller spiders. Oh dear. That's a bit unfortunate, my turtle's blown up. You can see we've got the coal. Oh yeah, all sorts of mobs spawning down here now. Just, uh, yes, that's a shame. That's the problem, you can't really use a turtle in another. 
but there's no harm in trying sometimes. You just lose a few. Um, let's just over here. Oh yes, I am full. Let's get rid of these. So uh, I shall have to do that the hard way. Where is he? In fact, I actually could set up the quarry, but the trouble is, if I do that now, if I set up the quarry now, then I, I tend to lose quite a lot of um, resources, because the best resources are going to be at the top and the bottom, aren't they? So. what happens if you get if you just don't kill them you produce hundreds of them and then they fall down and die of course it's a bit like lemmings so maybe the best way to do this is to do it from the top down an eye on my health just in case I'm getting uh, hurt by these health fish. I'm not going to record all this because it's a bit dull but you'll see the, the general idea. Who knows? If I drop down here now should be able to pick up all of the things that they've dropped, like silver and emeralds and whatever else that they tend to drop when they die. See all these flaming boats here, they're all caused by the, the type of hammer that gets used. I'll give you a nick, let's do some ex experiments. Go to this one first and just to right click that. And I'm hoping that will charge up the the hammer. If I dig this up with the the hammer here, nothing will happen. So if I can dig it up in time. There we go. Now, if I don't use the hammer, if I use something that's not uh, silk touched. So have I got anything with me? Or did I take that hammer and put it back again? No, I haven't got anything with me. If I used a non-silk touch device to dig this up, it would explode. I don't have any. Oh, yes I do. The mining laser. So if I change the mining laser now to soft um, short, oh, right, short focus, low focus. One past it. There we are. Now these things will start to explode if I hit them, so I'll just stand a bit out of the way. See the hissing? There we go, bang. And that's what I mean, that's the difference between... And it goes bang bang, there's quite a few big bangs there. That was a good example. I'm pleased with that one. Anyway. Let's go home and what do I want to show you? There was one more thing I think it was. So I can't remember what it was until I get home. Let's go right. Change over to this one. Where is the portal? There yeah, it should be in range. Yes, yes.
Oh. Let's get the back door for a change. Strange things on the map then. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. The rest I'm going to do by hand. And then just before I set up the actual um, quarry, I'll come back and record the next piece. Okay, bye for now.